hold here. Take your hands straight up so your fingers are up to the sky. Turn them down. Now try and draw the fingertips toward you. And then flip. Now let's rotate. I can feel a lot of work that we just did, especially the forearm. So I'm making a big circle. Now go the other direction. Use your fingers. Good. Keep going with the circle through your wrist. Now let's bring the arms out to the side. Keep circling, keep circling. Hold your arms out to the side. Now go the other direction in your circle. The muscles may start aching through the forearm and your shoulders even. Do you feel that yet? Okay, let it go. I'm gonna shake it out. Good job. Okay, let's go into some squats. Side lift, side lift. You're gonna step to the side and come up. Step to the side and come up. Okay, so this is the movement, but we're gonna add some weight to that. Let's try four more of these. Three, two, and do one more. One, now let's grab a sip of water. If you have water, grab a sip of water and your weights. So we're gonna take the light water bottle or your light weights, and we're just gonna go side to side. So we'll step out, overhead. Step out, overhead. Step out into a squat, overhead press. Squat, overhead press. Squat, overhead. Wide, and then overhead, okay. Are you ready? Do you think you can do 16? So you're keeping your palms totally inward straight up facing each other so the palms face each other then when you go into the side lunge turn the palms facing you and then turn the palms facing each other let's go to the right one and press up two press up drop three press up so you could Use your arms really any way you want when you come into the squat, the side lunge. You can take your arms down any way you want. Let's just finish up wherever we're at. We'll do four more. So we'll go four, overhead, three, overhead, two, overhead, and then one, and reach up overhead. Okay, so you can rest if you want. You can put the waters down if you want to. And today, since we have a chair, you can put it on the chair. But let's just take a few deep breaths, holding on to the light weight. Let's use that same movement again. We'll go a second time. But this time, we'll go out to the left first. So you're going to step out to the left. Ready? Let's step to the left. Curl, overhead press. And come down, overhead press, out to the side. So this is a lot of functional work. We're coming in and out with the legs, using your body weight, coming down, and up, and down, and up. Okay, keep working. Let's try four more. Four, overhead, up, three, two, and then one more, one, and let it go. Let's grab some water. Do you have water? Let's tap side to side. Let's use your light water bottle again, and we'll add more muscle work to it so we don't do just one muscle group. We're gonna work two or three muscle groups. Okay, let's see. So let's press up. Let's take your two light weights and then you're gonna raise one leg out to the side. So at any time, you can always hold your chair for support. I could do this. And I'm still getting the work done, but it's just with one arm. And lift, 12 lifts. Bring the, out, the arms outside to the side of your body, outside of the body. Three, and lifting your leg. Four. Good. 
Good, five, six. Now see if you can not touch the floor. Seven, eight, nine. Very good. Two more. See if you can not touch the floor. And then let it go. Oh, good job. You do it. All right. Let's stay on the same side. Can you work the same side? We're going to try again. So it's the same leg. Hold the chair if you need to for support. And we're just going to lift. Here we go. One. Two. Can you do it? Three. Four. Soft knee on your right. Five. Six. Can you keep your float off the floor? Can you keep your foot floating? Good. Eleven. Do one more, I think. Okay, let it go. Okay, so we can move the chair over. Now we'll do two times on the other leg. So, functional movement. Can we do it? We're going to lift and lower 12 times. Make sure your knee is soft on the left. And we lift. One, two, three. Four, taking the leg up. Five, hold the chair if you need to. Six, seven, really good. Eight, try to keep going. Nine, arms are out wide. Ten, use your back muscles. Eleven, stomach tight. Twelve, okay. We got one more to do. All right, let's try it again. See if we can do a second set. Let's see, here we go. One, two, soft knees, three, four, bring your arms up wide, five, six, use the chair for support, seven if you need to, eight, can you float your foot, nine, ten, eleven, do one more, and twelve, and let that one go, take in some deep breaths, toes tap a little bit, okay. Very nice. Let's use the weights again. So I'm going to continue using the weights. Whenever you go into like a rear raise, we're using our low back. Let's build strength in our low back. So let's take both of your light weights and we're just going to lift and lower into a front raise. Starting with the left foot and then come down. Okay? And then we're going to switch directions. Front, center to the side, front center, to the side, and then I'm going to turn sideways so you can see, the leg is just going straight back behind you, so it's like this, straight back, to the side, straight back with the leg, and out, so the arms are going front and center, to the side, and the leg continues to go backward and raised up. You got it? Okay, let's try. On this one, you can hold the chair also. If you were holding for support, it would be one arm up and one arm to the side. One arm up front, one arm to the side. And then keep your stomach nice and tight. Okay, let's try. Let's try eight, here we go. One, out to the side. And then two, out to the side. Three, out to the side, turning sideways a little bit. Four, straight out to the side. Five, shoulders are down, out to the side. Six, squeeze your butt muscle to lift the leg. Oh, this might be eight, but let's do one more just in case. Just in case. Okay, let's try the other side. So the same thing, of course, straight up with the arms and the leg lifts up back behind you nice and straight. Let's try eight. Ready and lift. One, out to the side. Two, can you squeeze your butt muscle? Three, out to the side. Four, lift the arms up to the side. Use your back muscle for that. Five, shoulders back and down. Stomach tight. Six, lots of thinking. Seven, right? Squeezing the muscle takes a lot of thought. 
eight, squeeze your butt muscle, and then let it go. Ha! Huh. Okay, good work. Let's use your weights. All right, so these are light weights. Kind of shake out the shoulders. Okay, let's take the arms out big and wide. With your knees nice and soft, a little bit of balance. So you're gonna turn your palms now up to the sky and we're gonna lift. But let's challenge our balance. Can we lift and lower and lift and lower and lift and lower over and over with the palms facing the sky like this. Lift, palms face up. Palms face up. Palms face up. Let's try the other leg, just in case. Let's see, see if we can do it. Other leg. So you're gonna lift, palms face up, tap the light weights if you can. and then come down. Okay, so let's do a whole set of those. How are we doing? Good. Okay. All right, so let's try again. Let's use your right knee first. Palms are up and you're gonna go as high as you can overhead. Ready, let's lift. One, two, soften your left knee. Three, gently touch four, your toes on the floor. Five, gently touch your toes. Six, seven, eight, keep going. Nine, let's do 12. 10, gently touch the floor. 11 with your toes. 12, and then let that go. Okay, let's try the other side. So light weights would work really good. So we're gonna soften your left or your right knee. Eight, keep going. Nine, let's do 12. 10, gently touch the floor. 11 with your toes. 12, and then let that go. Okay, let's try the other side. So we're gonna soften your right knee and then you're gonna get ready to lift. Okay, here we go, ready? 12 singles. One, two, Three, I'm gonna just turn a little bit. Four, five, don't touch your toes. Six, use your stomach muscles. Seven, draw the palms together. Eight, nine, soft knee on the right. 10 more, 11, and do one more, reach palms, and then let that go. Really good job. At any time, you can sit and rest. Grab water. Let's try the same thing, but it's gonna be a little different. So we're gonna take one leg out and hold it. A little more challenging. I'm gonna turn at an angle. So you can see, I'm gonna just extend my leg out. Lift the arms. A <sighs> little faster pace. Can you leave one foot out? Let's see if we can do it. At any time, you can put your foot down if you need to. 12 singles. Here we go. One, two, Three, good. Four, at your own level. Five, six, soften your left. Seven, stomach tight. Eight, shoulders are down. Nine, ten, can you do the last two? Eleven, keep the leg out. Twelve, down. Lots of work. I would say that's a lot of strength and balance. Okay, so we're going to try the other side. Leg comes out. Turn a little bit. Arms all the way up, all the way back down. Let's do this together, ready? Soft knee on your right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, stomach tight. Five, six, squeeze seven, your shoulder blades down and in. Eight, nine, squeeze your stomach tight. 10, oh my goodness, 11, lock it in. 12, and then let it go. 
I almost lost it. All right, deep breaths. Let's do a little bit more balance, just a little bit. We're gonna take our arms back behind us and let's take one foot behind us like this. Can you float it? And then pulse behind you. This is an easy little movement, but it's challenging. Light weights, light water bottles. Let's do it. Ready, set. Lift your leg, pulse. Can you keep your leg up? Keep you pulsing with your arms back behind you? Drawing the leg up, keep the leg up. You're good, you're good, you're good. Okay, let it go. Good job. On the other side. So I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see. I just lifted my foot a little, and then we're pulsing back. Ready, set, go. Can we do it? Can we stay floating off one foot? Pulses are up. Very nice, keep going and let it go. Okay, deep breaths. Nice work. Okay, let's grab some water and let's take our cloth or your paper plate. So if you have carpeting, you would use a paper plate. If you have tile floor or wood flooring, we would use the towel. I'm gonna move my chair so that we have a little bit more space. Let's use one lightweight. So we use one lightweight and the cloth under your left foot. Squat down, take your left leg in and out. Then with your arm, we're gonna extend tricep extension. And with your right arm, hold it out. Your right arm is actually gonna help you with your balance. Let's switch feet, now your right foot with the cloth. And we'll try the same thing on the right side. Let's do four, here we go. Four, three, two, and then one. Let's rest, switch feet. We'll do one whole set each side, and then we'll sit down. Here we go. So your arm is back, and the arm is out. Ready? 12 singles. One, get low. Two, extend the arm. Three, four, extending the arm out. Five, six, seven. Use your tricep. Eight, and nine. Can you get low? 10. 11 and 12. Last one. Let's come up and we'll switch sides. So we'll get down low. Use your left leg for support. That arm comes up and over. Go. One, two, staying low. Three, four. Elbows near your ear. Five, six, seven. Can you keep your left arm out straight? Nine, 10. Just two more. 11. 12, and then let that go. Okay, we can put the cloth to the side, and then let's grab your chair. So we're taking the chair. So you have the ball or the towel. I'm gonna use the ball since I have it. Let's take the ball in between the hands, sit super tall in your spine. We're sitting near the front of your chair. So the legs are hanging off of the chair, knees over the ankles. Let's take the ball and we're gonna press overhead and then come down. Press overhead and come down, that's all it is. But sit really tall. This is really easy, but it takes a lot of thought. As you lift overhead, squeeze both of your glutes. Can you squeeze both buttocks? Your buttocks, ready? Squeeze both glutes. Squeeze both glutes. Squeeze both glutes both glutes. At the same time, pressing up and over. Good. Okay. Now squeeze just the right glute for four times. Ready? Just the right side. Here we go. Four, just the right glute. Three, two, just the right glute. One. Okay, let it go. Now let's try the left side. So this, we're going to work our stomach, the inside of our legs, and our glutes all at the same time. So let's take your heels down onto the floor, and the toes lift them up. 
So the toes are lifted up. With the ball about four inches above your knee, let's lean back. So you're just going to lean back a little bit. Try using the inside of your legs. Squeeze the ball. If you have the towel, you would be squeezing your towel. Heels are down, toes are lifted, and we're leaning back. Use your stomach muscle to lean back. Use your core. Bring the arms out. Now, on top of all of that, squeeze both glutes. Ready to go. Squeeze, squeeze both glutes. Both glutes. Keep squeezing both buttocks muscles. Is it buttocks? Get your buttocks. Squeeze your buttocks over and over. Keep contracting your glutes and the inside of your legs at the same time. Very good. Keep going. Now let's take your arms and we're going to lift. Ready? Let's lift. Lift. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the inside legs. And raise your arms up overhead. Try to do four more. And your toes are lifted. Squeeze. Squeeze. Let's do four more from here. Four. You can do it. Three. Squeeze your butt muscle. Two. One. Let that go. We can bring the arms down. Okay. Let's take the ball into our low back. So we're going to use this for our stomach just a little bit today. So we're going to take the ball into your low back against the back of your chair. Bring your body close to the ball, up right up to the ball. Okay. Let's take one foot, heels down, toes are lifted. An easy little tilt. Think of it like the tilt. It's a tilt. Take your shoulder, your left, and draw over to your right knee, your right knee. Use your stomach, pull your core in, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Stomach tight, inhale, exhale. So you are contracting your core muscle, pulling it in towards your spine. Draw the shoulder a little bit towards opposite knee. Exhale, inhale, shoulders back, shoulders are down, away from the ears, and try one more, and then let it go. Good job. Let's do one more on the same side. So tilt your shoulder towards the opposite leg. Here we go, ready? Let's do one, go to ten, two, inhale, exhale, three, like this, four, inhale, exhale, five, six, Use your stomach muscles, seven, in the obliques, eight, inhale, exhale, nine, stomach is tight, ten, okay, let's let that go, we'll try the other side, okay, so heel is down, and the toe is lifted, sitting tall, body's up against the ball, so just your left toes are lifted, and then you're going to come down and tilt, now your right shoulder towards your left knee, left knee, six more here, maybe six, inhale, exhale, five, use your stomach muscle, four, pulling it in, three, and then two, and try one more, one, now relax, and we'll do ten to finish up, you're almost done today, toes are lifted, heel is down, sit tall, ready, there we go, ten, one, inhale, exhale, two, three, engage your whole stomach, five, and especially the obliques on your left, eight, two more, nine, one more, and ten, and let that one go, you're totally done, let's take the ball, so take some deep breaths, kind of shake through your shoulders, Let's hold the ball just for a moment. We're going to use the ball to stretch a little. Let's bring the ball up, press down through your back muscle, and then bring it back up. Press down through your back. Good. Now let's take the ball in front of us, and let's take your right leg out, and just kind of get ready to lean forward. So you're going to hold on to the ball. Toes turn up if you can and lean forward to stretch through the hamstring. But let's take your ball and squeeze the ball. 
So we are squeezing the ball. Knead your hands back and forth in different directions. Stretch the back of the leg as you're doing this. Okay, now let it go. Let's switch legs. So you can take your left leg out. Toes are lifted. Lean forward. Feel the stretch behind the leg, behind the knee. So you're squeezing the ball with your palm and your fingertips. Feel the back of your legs, stretching and kneading the ball, and let that go. Let's go ahead and put the ball down onto the floor. Roll through the shoulders again. Good. Now can you take your hands and grab the back of your chair? So you're actually going to take your hands on the back of your chair, hold, and then lean forward if you can. Can you? Take your chest out, shoulders back, and lean forward. A couple seconds. So you should feel your chest stretching and your back muscles stretching. Wonderful, wonderful. Draw your shoulder blades down and in. That'll go even deeper through your back. Hold a couple seconds. Let's shake that out. Now let's take your right leg, we'll do this real quick, and come up and over. So if you're not able to lift up your leg, line up your knee over your ankle and then let's sit tall. So we're going to sit really tall and lean forward. Can we stretch through the outside of our hip? We should feel that stretch right through here. Outside of the leg, the glute, and then let's sit up nice and tall. Now let's take our hands and hug your leg. We're going to pull the leg up in towards your chest. So you're going to pull it in towards your chest, but sit tall and pull your chest out and your shoulders down. Then let's turn slowly into your leg. So I'm sitting really tall. I'm going to take my chest out, shoulders back, and turn into the leg. And just keep holding and keep breathing. And then slowly come out of that. And we'll hold here. Let's take the leg up. And just kind of point and flex your foot. You can cradle your leg on your arm and then big circles, getting any kinks out of the ankle. Then let's try this leg. Let's come up and over. This knee lines up over the ankle. Let's sit tall. So the ball should be in your low back. You don't have to do this lean forward. It's just kind of extra. Shoulders are back, chest is out. Try to stay relaxed in this stretch right here. You're gonna really feel the outside of your glutes, your buttocks. Can you feel that? Right, and then let's sit up, reach around, and pull in. Shoulders back, chest out, turn into your leg, opposite leg. Feel the stretch right here. We'll come back to center, take the leg, Point and flex a couple times, and then big circles, both directions, we've got that. And then let's turn in your chair. So we're going to turn, and then I'm just going to scoot my whole entire body down to the edge of the seat. Edge of the seat. Your one leg and glute is on the, on the seat. Your whole other leg is off. Knee under the hip. Shoulders back. Now let's lean back. Can you lean back? Squeeze your buttocks. Bring one arm up over your head to the back of the chair. Keep breathing. Stretch through the hip flexor, the whole front of the hip and the quad. And then let's come out of that. So you're going to come out slow. We'll come around, all the way around to the other side. So it's the same thing. Front knee under the hip. Shoulders back, squeeze your buttocks, lean back if you want to. You got it? And then lift the arm high over to the back of the chair. Keep your glutes squeezed tight. Buttocks is squeezed. Okay, we come out of that. Ah, oh, come all the way out. Let's walk our feet in. Feet come in. We'll take two deep breaths and you can be done. All right. Let's draw the arms out in front of us. Deep breath, inhale through your nose to bring oxygen to the body. Deep breath in through the nose and then exhale out and down. Press through your back muscles so you feel the back stretching. 
deep breath in through your nose. One more, oxygen in. Refuel the body and then out, exhale, down and out. Stretch through the back muscles. All right.